This small video is meant to help you choose the best snowshoe for your needs. A snowshoe is a little bit like a bicycle. There's bicycle for the road, for trails, for mountain, downhill. Uh, when it comes to snowshoe, we make snowshoe for work, for rough trail, for pack snow condition, for racing or training. So there's a few different guidelines you need to respect when buying a pair of snowshoes. A good pair of snowshoes will be anywhere between $90 to almost $300. So take the time to watch this small video and read uh, on our website. The technical section and the how to choose section will help you choose the best snowshoe so you won't regret it. One of the first considerations uh, when buying a pair of snowshoes is to know if you mostly be doing trail or off trail. By trail, we mean pack snow condition. So a smaller snowshoe with a good crampon and good traction is the best. A torsion effect pivoting system will also do well on pack snow condition. For off trail, we mean lots of snow, powder snow obstacle. So the more snow there is, the bigger you need your snowshoe. As a general rule of thumb, the bigger, the taller the person is, then the bigger the snowshoe needs to be. Think about a boat. The bigger the boat is, the more weight you can put on the boat. Uh, flotation is how wide and how long the snowshoe is. So if you're in a region where you, there's a lot of snow, a lot of powdery snow, then you need a really big snowshoe. Uh, if you're carrying equipment, then you're heavier, you need a bigger snowshoe. Uh, and if you're in a region where it's quite humid and windy, then the snow will pack down naturally, so you can go with a mid-sized snowshoe. For off-trail condition, the best pivoting system is a full rotation pivoting system with blocker. To know more about pivoting system, you can check out our uh, technical specification uh, section in our website. Then there'll be a, little, a few videos and more information about the, the pivoting system, so you know what pivoting system is the best for, uh, for your need. Another thing to consider when buying a pair of snowshoes is the terrain type, where you'll be snowshoeing. If you snowshoe on flat ground, then a good snowshoe uh, that's the lightest possible with decent sized crampon is your best option. If you're going a little bit more extreme in mountains or high, high mountain, then you need a lot more attraction. So you're looking for a snowshoe with the best binding possible to have the most control over your snowshoe because you'll be uh, doing ascent and traverse and also you're looking for traction, so the biggest claw possible uh, with big teeth uh, so you won't slide or slip when you're climbing up or going downhill. Know that when you're buying one of our snowshoes, you're buying a good quality product. They're made in Canada and they will last you a long time. So if you're thinking that you'll mostly be doing some flat terrain, uh, but you might want to snowshoe into a mountain in a year or so, then buying a more technically advanced snowshoe uh, could be a good idea. Since they're going to last you a long time, you don't want to be limited uh, with the model you choose. So make the right selection and think long term when buying a snowshoe.